Well, first of all, um, Harold had an attic in Ravenscourt Park. Then he went to Dowling Road, where I joined him. Well, the first distortion factor meter we had was one that Harold built himself, because nobody else could build the damn thing. All I can tell you is that I was interviewed in the attic at Ravenscourt Park. I can picture it now. As I walked up the stairs, I had to climb over boxes and old speakers and God knows what. It was a dust pit. Well, that's all he had. He had, had me and an Avo and an oscillator that we dug up from somewhere. And, uh, you know, it, that was about it. Um, oh, yeah, NPL turned us down in 1947. National Physical Laboratory did not have facilities for measuring distortion as low as 0.1%. End of message. It was beautiful that in 1949 they suddenly decided they could do it, and that's hence why we said, sent the amplifiers over to them, and they then gave us a report, and we published it in that uh, booklet you wrote to me about, the book Point One. I've had drunk and slept hi-fi since uh, 1928, and uh, it's dominated my life. A modified version of the Type 15 certainly was used for controlling because when I, one of the first things I did, even as late as um, 47, one of the first things I was concerned with was getting stability using some SDC cutter heads. You spoke to Ian Pulling. Yes. He produced a tuner, and then the Germans couldn't produce the transistor for a couple of years, so he had to do another one. Uh, in the end, we were hoping to release it without any AFC at all, but I must have spent, oh, six weeks doing drift, drift graphs and various things. So if you want to maintain stability within so many kilohertz, can't we, um, can't we just put an AFC in of uh, a factor of two? I was very friendly with them. I designed the two pickups for them and the ribbon loudspeaker, which was never <laughs> put in production. Hadden transformers for the, all the TL12s, they were the, um, the open types and the, and the potted types, RCA and, and uh, mallards, were coming to us and saying, look, we've got circuitry here, circuitry here, and this. We're saying, look, we're only interested in something that's going to be able to live within our, our environment. And that is, it's, we've got to get distortions of the order of 0.1%. We don't have it as a trademark for nothing. We ceased manufacture of electronics in September 76.